guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you know me on Twitter, The Blast. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today, I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go! Alright. <clears throat> That's alright. Some people were bothering Cyrus when he was alone. I figured he could use someone around. Wait, what? Aaron starts getting concerned, which makes me a little exasperated. Hey, it wasn't that bad. Some people are just curious. I look back to Aaron with a bit of worry. I don't really have mind having a roomie, I'm just confused. Well, I guess it's up to Cyrus in the end. Cyrus? I mean, it might be a bit cramped. Are you sure? What about Ring? I don't think we're moving in together material yet. And we are? Is that a no? He asked with a coy smile. What the hell? I mean, I guess I don't mind, as long as you're sure about it. Perfect, it's settled then. I take it you like your own space usually. Don't worry, I only plan to come back to have a place to sleep. For the most part, that is. Silver pats me on the shoulder. I don't own that many things. I did it'll take up that much space. Seriously, it's fine, Talon. I I'm just kind of confused. Don't be. I'll make sure you're all right. He pats my shoulder one more time before turning around. After, to after dinner tonight, I'll try to settle in. See you later, Boomy. Uh, sure. See ya. See ya. And with that, the Arctic Fox struts away, leaving me alone with the tiger. The hell was that about? Aaron has a paw under his chin. I'm not sure. I think I have an idea, but I should keep it to myself. Wow, thanks. Heh. <laughs> All I'll say is, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have anything to worry about. He's probably the most qualified among us that can keep you safe. Better than you? Honestly, yeah, better than me. Huh. <laughs> well, let's hope I don't need that much protection. Let's. Aaron laughs nervously. By the way, Cyrus, I forgot to mention it, but I like your new hair. It suits you. My cheeks feel just a little just a little bit warmer after hearing that. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Of course. Take care on your way back, alright? Will do. I'll see you later tonight then. It's a date. I'm getting, better at I'm getting better at navigating my new surroundings. I was able to make it back to the capsule station and find my way to Vita's office without getting lost. Despite being a few minutes early, I knock on the door. Moments later, Vita answers it. Good evening, Cyrus Cantwell. Good afternoon, Vita. Hope you're well. You can't complain. I want to get things started. By all means. They escort me inside, taking me back to that weird-looking chair I sat in when they operated on me. I can't imagine this will take more than an hour. If all goes well, we should be able to get along with our Sunday night without incident. Mind if I ask what this is? Vita puts on their surgical mask. I believe I mentioned this during a previous meeting, but we're going to try to jumpstart your natural bodily functions. I see. Have you, like, tested this before? I'm alive and well thanks to this treatment. You're different composition-wise, but I'm sure you'll be fine. We'll take things slow. If you say so, what should I expect? Nothing too noticeable. You might feel more energetic afterward, and then crash, similar to caffeine. I've been told it has an antidepressant effect as well. Can you vouch for that part? I'll get back to you on that. All right, you'll need to take your shirt and jacket off. Without hesitating, I pull them both over my head. I try to fix my hair once they're off. Vita raises her brow at me. Did the hyena do that? Uh-oh. Yay, she wanted to fix it up. Vita sighs through their nose. Thankfully, it doesn't look like she disturbed the stitches too much. Anyway, are you ready? I believe so. Ooh, excuse me. Fire away, Doc. Vita starts to insert tubes into my back, one by one. The familiar sensation of cool liquid seeping into my spine hits me. Mmm. I'm surprised you like this, Cyrus Cantwell. I thought I'd, I thought it'd make you at least a little bit uncomfortable. The tanks would get really warm sometimes, especially during the summer. This is all I had to cool me down. That is truly and utterly depressing. I'm stunned you still have the will to live. Eh, it wasn't that bad. And other people call me a lunatic. Well, in any case, I'm just going to leave the rest of the machine. I'll leave the curtains open and be at my desk. Do you need anything? One second, y'all. It is blueberry and water time. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe not this one. This one is weird. Hmm. I should say blueberry and orange cream... Bubbly water. Hmm. Hmm. Some tea would be lovely if that's alright. I'll brew us a pot then. Mm-hmm. 
I try to get comfortable against the strange chair. In only a matter of minutes, my muscles completely relax. It's a different sensation than what I'm used to. I can feel just a little bit of tingling throughout my body. Back in current, I feel like my body was being put to sleep. Vita eventually hands me a cup of tea. As usual, it's exceptional. Drinking their tea always leads to a relaxing experience. Instead of passing out, I decide to pass my time surfing the gate on my Axiom. I have, a, I have a lot to catch up on, after all. As convenient as this thing is, it's a bit awkward to use it while sitting. Meaning to, keep, meaning to keep the arm up might be a bit of a design flaw. My life must be turning for the better if that's considered a problem. I flip through several pages on the gate. Despite how similar it is to the internet, I find it kind of hard to navigate. It probably doesn't help that I don't actually know any of the websites, if they're still called that. I found one working news site, at least. I don't understand any of the articles. One page is a live feed of a broadcast starring a rather busty fox. She keeps my attention just with her charisma, but in the end, I don't know what she's reporting on. I tried to ask Kai for assistance, but I guess my obsolete terminology makes it difficult for him to find what I'm looking for. He doesn't respond well to vague commands. Kai, are you able to play music? Certainly, Operator. What genre are you looking for? Uh, rock? Kai takes a moment to respond. I would be surprised if he was looking for literal music made by rocks. Playing Blinded by Fortune, featuring Dahlia Flanders. Nope, 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 no, 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 there. Yeah, probably copyright. It isn't someone I've heard of. Looks like the mental link, like, looks like the mental link makes it so I don't need to wear headphones. This will take some getting used to, but it's convenient. The music Kai found is honestly not as strange as I thought it would be. He cycles through various artists over the next hour. I rest against the chair, silently judging each one that plays in my head. Before I know it, Vita nudges my shoulder. They try talking to me, but I can't hear them. Oh, right. Internally, I, I internally ask Kai to shut down for the time being. The music fades out. Okay. Sorry, what was that? I said you were all done for the day. Was it so relaxing that you fell asleep? Almost. I was actually listening to music through my axiom. Vita raises a brow. I'll never get used to these contraptions. Anyway, if you could lean forward, I'll remove the tubes. I do as I'm told and lean forward. Vita takes them out one by one. Your ports are extremely inefficient. If it's all right with you, I'd like to make some modifications at a later time. As long as you're careful. I'm always careful. I feel my newly shaved head. I'll take your word for it. Is that it, then? Yes. We'll do this at least twice a week for the foreseeable future. Once you start showing signs of improvement, we'll leave it up to Titania to decide. Speaking of, am I ever going to meet this Titania? That is up for her to decide, Cyrus Cantwell. Who knows? Maybe. I can't wonder about it for too long because Kai starts beeping. New message from Silver. I take my axiom out and read the message. Sorry to cut this short, but I made a promise to be somewhere for dinner. By all means, go right ahead. Would you like to join us? We'll be in the break, be in the break room. Vita's eyes go wide for a moment. Hmm, I have some work to do. However, once I finish, I could join for a little while. Thank you for the invitation. Of course, let me know if you need anything. Indeed. I'll see you soon, Cyrus Cantwell. With a bow, I make my way out of Vita's office. Heh. One second, y'all. It is water time and blueberry time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, God. Good. Bubbly water and blueberries are a good mix. It's quiet in the halls tonight. No one bothers me on my way to the break room. Even though Silver messaged me about dinner, he's not here yet. The place is empty. I guess it's not six, six quite yet. Unless... I start to look around the room. I get the feeling Silver is in here, somehow. There must be some kind of trick to him constantly popping in and out of existence. To his credit, there aren't a lot of places to hide in here. I try looking under the table. Maybe he's under one of these chairs. Did you lose something, Cyrus? Right on cue, the fox successfully spooks me enough that I hit my head on the table when I try to get out. Jeez, seriously, how do you do that? Trade secret. Your head okay? What? Oh, yeah, I didn't feel a thing. Hmm. Anyway, Aaron will be here soon. Kento and Karen asked to come along. The more the merrier. I invited Vita, too. Hope that's alright. Fine by me. I wanted to ask them how to improve the recipe for tonight anyway. What's on the menu? Secret. You'll see soon enough. Hmm. My pouting is short-lived as Aaron comes to greet us. Evening, fellas. Hope you're doing well. Could be better. Could be eating right about now. Sorry about that. I wanted to change into something a little more comfortable. Work finish up all right? After the party, I stayed for about an hour to make sure everything was good for tomorrow. Shouldn't be anything to worry about. Excuse me. After all the work we did, there better not be. <laughs> 
Kanto calls out as he walks in with Karen. If there wasn't a free meal tonight, I'd be inclined to say it wasn't worth it. Kanto comes up behind Silver and hugs him. Oh. You're always worth the wait, though. Ha! <laughs> Love you too, babe. They don't waste any time, do they? What are we having? I'm starved! Face yourself. I don't know what Silver bought. I don't know what Silver brought, but I tried... But I tried my hand at making my own carbonara recipe for Cyrus. Score! Cabanera? What's that? Uh, usually pasta with eggs and meat. My mom usually made it for bacon. So, like, a breakfast pasta? Oh, huh, I guess so. Never thought about it like that. Sounds yummy. Bring on the carbs. Couldn't say it better myself. What did you bring, Silver? Silver looks a bit stumped. Well, if I knew you were bringing pasta, I wouldn't have. I would have brought something different. I'm trying a low main recipe that Vita told me about. Oh, sorry. Next time we do something like this, we should discuss it beforehand. The way I see it, we got an interesting time on our hands. Now we can see who can make the better pasta. There's no need to make it a competition. I think you're overestimating me, Kanto. All I've had for the past few months were military rations. Were they good? Occasionally. More, most tasted like chocolate sand, though. Blech! Aaron claps his paws to bring us back on topic. Uh, let's put a hold on any sort of competition for tonight. Let's just enjoy a nice home-cooked meal together as a team. It's been a long time, after all. You're telling me. I just hope someone doesn't get all grabby this time around. Huh? Sorry, what was that? I don't speak, Pip Squeak! Kanto is momentarily stunned by the loud voice before quickly getting aggressive. You wanna say that again? You wanna say that again, you big bitch? Bring it on, you little bitch. Karen seems to be enjoying riling people up, as usual. Let's give Silver a chance to slip away from the two of them. They sure haven't changed, have they? Aaron sighs loudly. You can say that again. Want to get things started in the meantime? Let's do it. Cyrus, do you mind setting the table? You're the only you're the only useful person here with free hands at the moment. Uh, sure, I'll get right on that. I start rummaging through some of the nearby shelves. Even the dishes are high quality. There are whole shelves filled with nice porcelain plants free to use. I grab six plates and then start to align them around the table. Kanto doesn't waste a second to make fun of me. Uh, six plates? Did you hit your head again, Cyrus? Actually, yeah, a few minutes ago. Silver pulls on his left ear. Don't be rude, Kanto. We have someone else coming. Ow! Stop! Silver chuckles as he lets go of the half-dragon's ear. Since you asked so nicely, Vita is joining us. I invited them. Ugh. Why? I call dibs on sitting next to them. Be my guest. Keep the freaks on one end of the table. We'd all be stuck on the same side, then. Ah, Silver, you're not a freak. Yeah, yeah, you can handle a dinner with them. They're not bad. If you say so. I can hear Aaron chuckling as he's preparing his pasta. It's like, y'all, it is blueberry and water time. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Oh. Delicious. I can hear Aaron chuckling as he's preparing his pasta. I take the opportunity to grab the silverware near him. Lively as ever, huh? Indeed. We used to do dinners like this when we lived here. We kind of stopped after we moved out. We should do it again. It's nice having everyone together. You know, by their own volition. If you ever do, I'd love to come. This certainly beats sitting and eating by myself, that's for sure. Silver pops up behind me to grab a knife. Don't worry, Cyrus. While you're with us, I doubt you'll have too many dull moments. He begins to chop away at some vegetables. His knife work is quite impressive. He's going really fast. I don't mind things being dull from time to time. I will admit, this underground base is nice and all. However, it's a tad suffocating, right? Uh, something along those lines, yeah. Now that Silver's around, you can go to the surface when you want to get some fresh air. I gotta find the perfect time, though. Too early and it's freezing, and too late makes it sweltering. Do you like to run, Cyrus? I look back at him for a moment. I used to do it all the time, mainly because someone close to me liked having a runner, a running partner. It's a lot more enjoyable with someone else, that's for sure. Want to try sometime soon? Sure, that sounds nice, just it'll be more of a walk for me. That's fine, it'll be good exercise for you. I nod quickly. I got so wrapped up in talking I forgot to finish getting the silverware ready. Here, the good knives are in this drawer, although I doubt we'll really need any. We can use them to cut up the pasta, it'll make it easier to eat. Oh, true, good call. How about... Silver and I get close together to examine the various knives. Aaron starts to chuckle next to us. Glad to see you two are getting along so well. Why wouldn't me? Cyrus seems nice. It's not that you wouldn't get along, but rather, how should I put it? Aaron takes a moment to think on it. I guess I'm just happy that you're both already pretty comfortable with each other. You've all been really considerate of me since I got here. Well, mostly. 
I glanced toward Kanto. Although he's not that bad, either. The past few days, I've been thinking a lot about how unnatural I really am. But, I don't know, being around you all has been very pleasant. Probably helps that we're all misfits, too. You can say that again. I don't think I can name a single normal person who works here. Eh, probably for the best. Any normal person would have gone crazy at this point. Glad you're not normal, then. Have some real innate... You have some real innate tenacity. Yeah, even I'm not sure how I will have lasted this long. As long as you stick to your recovery regimen, you'll hopefully live a decent life. Oh, nice. That familiar mechanical voice comes from behind us. Ooh, excuse me. Hey there, Vita. Long time no see. We should try doing a more robotic voice for Vita. Same to you. I hope you've been well. I am now that I'm home. Good. Sorry I took so long. I was in the middle of wrapping up a project. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. We haven't even started. In fact, I think I'm just about done. How about you, Silver? Silver places the last of the mince veggies into his lo mein. I'd say so. Ready to get things started? Absolutely. Karen raises her voice across the table. Alright, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!